with Final Fantasy XIV and Walker just around the corner, a massive influx of new players are just about to come flooding in soon, as well as a giant current wave of players that just came in a few months ago. For a, uh, few reasons. I decided now is a good time to make videos of Final Fantasy XIV as any, and today I decided to make a video by starting by giving out some setting and recommendations that I wish I knew when I first started playing this game to make it more enjoyable. Like, man, I really wish I knew these from the start. Number one, legacy movements. I'm pretty sure everybody hates tank controls. When you start off the game, that's your default setting. Now, some of you wouldn't have noticed this since you thought this was part of the movement and it was just part of the game. Everybody plays like this. But let me tell you, it's not. This setting can make the difference between you dodging that incoming AoE or you dying in that dungeon slash raid and becoming the new one for Inspector. Head over here, there, click on this, and bam, you're done. Number two, expand in inventory. Finding your items between tabs can be a pain when you start getting more items as you progress through the game. Especially if you're rolling for gear in dungeons even though you don't need them. You know who you are. Now there's a way for you to look at all your items at once. Then you realize how much of a hoarder you are and then how much fucking mess your inventory is and then... Number 3. Health display. I don't know why I didn't have this beginning to begin with. But hey, the sooner you have this, the sooner you can rage when you see your party almost fight to the boss when you fail to oh, make a DPS check. Or cursor size. I know there's still players that still click on their skills in order to do their rotation. I can only imagine how and why they do it. But hey, I hear the judge. Yes. Clicking is fine. Imagine weaving camera turns. Yeah, dude, it's cracked, isn't it? Your copium tank is empty? Bro, I don't need that shit. I don't need it. Instead, I'm gonna show all those clickers and help them out by showing you how to make your cursor bigger so he doesn't get lost when you do your rotation. Five, skipping cutscenes. When you complete any duty, that being dungeons or trials, you still watch the cutscenes afterwards. You can change this by going to this and that and doing this and that. Yep, that easy. Now you don't want to watch cutscenes you've done before. Goodbye to all those raids you've done before. It means goodbye, Garuda. Sorry, but you have to go, Ramu, you old ass. Please, get me out of this freaking dungeon already. Now, if you want to make limps and limits uh, less hectic. From all the ER peers and the bars, the dancers, people that spam AoEs, the Makotes. Oh god, Limsa. Please let me have some peace. Number six and seven. Battle facts and name display. Well you can change these two settings to make your game more bearable when you come to this place. That being your name display and also the battle effect. So only you or your party members are able to display battle effects while in combat or outside of combat, and you can have everyone's nameplates go away or only have their named initials showing out. And finally, number eight, emo chat box. If you don't want your box to be filled with all these emos, people spamming at each other, or you're spamming at someone else, you can just turn this off right here, and then now you don't deal with that anymore. And there you go. That's all the recommended settings I have for you guys in this video. If you have any more recommended settings, please let me know down in the comments below so I can feature that in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video if possible. That would really help all the channel a lot and make it grow.